West Ham is merely the latest in a long line of London stadiums, where speedway riders like these have recently had to stage positively their last performance before a home crowd. The reason for this closure is that the land, like so much in the East End, has been sold for redevelopment. New tower blocks about to fill the site where 80,000 fans once cheered their heroes. Far happier times than last night, when less than 4,000 people turned up. Well, I think it's just tragic. And all, I think I know I speak for all the supporters when I say we're just desolate. I mean, we just can't get used to the idea that there won't be any more speedway here. Do you think it's going to uh, lead to a lot of them going to support other teams? No. You, you may go to another track. We do. We go to Hackney, we go to Rayleigh, but it's not the same. It's not our team. These are our, this is our team, our boys. I don't know, there's something... We're all part of the same thing. We know the riders, the riders know us. And you, you don't get that with another team. You get, don't get the same feeling with another team. You know, it's been going a fair old while, and the people around here is more or less a known place, landmark now, but... There won't be nothing when they start putting houses and roads running around it. What's been the reaction of the fans? Well, they're shattered. They don't know what to do, because if they move away from London, the people won't go, so they got people from Romford, the old Romford people, they won't go travelling. They just have to go to other tracks like Acne or Rayleigh, things like that. How many tracks are there left in London now? Counting this one, three. Just left in last Wimbledon. Hackney and just this one, or it'll be two when this one shuts down. Well, it's a monument to the sport, really. It's been here for years, you know, and it's always had a team here. But Stan probably feels that more than me, because he was here when, the, when they were first division and won the league, you know, in first division. Well, it seems to be the farewell of all farewells, you know? And uh, this is very, it is a very sad occasion. I mean, I've been over here, well, not just racing, but I've come over when I was 12 years old to watch Speedway, which is, what, now 26 years? <laughs> so you can just imagine how I feel, you know, really bad. What was the attraction to you as a kid, standing on the terraces here? <laughs> well, you know, the atmosphere, the noise, dirt spray, and the smell of the old fuel and the oil that runs through the bikes, and the crowd, you know, I mean, it all adds up to thrills and atmosphere. In the 1930s, that atmosphere was even more electric. Then, in addition to the racing, there was the added attraction of acrobats, Russian dancers and hoop rolling championships for the kids. Then, the Hammers as they used to be known, won the National League title, as well as providing the sport with a host of international and world champions. But just how dangerous was speedway racing in those days? Well, we didn't think of the danger, we just got on with it. Well, occasionally we fell off, but we usually bounced. Of course, as you get older, you lose your bounce. What sort of injuries did you receive? Injuries? Oh, lots of injuries. I, I think the worst injury I had was a fractured spine, but uh, I've had broken wrists, broken ankle, broken ribs. I've been unconscious for three weeks, but uh, I knew nothing about that. Was it a far more glamorous sport in those days than it is now? Well, you see, the big difference was in the old days we had a lot more cinders on the track, and therefore it used to make it much more rutted, shall I say, and you would go around throwing a big cloud of cinders up behind you. We used to fall off more often, but when you fall off into about four or five inches deep of cinders, you would slide away, yeah, look spectacular where you went down. Everybody thought, gosh, he's broken his neck, get up and run back and have another go, which pleased the crowd very much. What do you think about this decision to close West Ham Stadium? How do you feel tonight? Personally, it, it is, yes. Well, when you think, you see, Arthur wasn't quite as early as I was, but I was at the opening meeting here, and when you see a thing start and grow up, and then you see it, well, finishing off like this, I feel like as though something, part of me is going away, as it were. I feel very sad. I, I've seen it from all angles, and it's a great pity. A great pity indeed, and an even bigger pity that when the last race ended, when the chequered flags were put away for the last time, it was in defeat, West Ham having been beaten by 40 points to 38. A sad note on which to end the final chapter in the stadium's history.